Hi, welcome to Int5 Minutes. Next problem is again based on PNP type common emitter configuration. That is example two. I am writing it as two. So how to identify again the type of transistor? As I have told you, arrow is always from P to N. So it is PNP type of transistor, or can say PNP transistor. Then which type of configuration? Common base, common emitter, common collector. For this, you need to identify which is your emitter. So this is your VEB we are providing voltage to the base so when you draw the diode it will be like this so you are forward biasing the diode right so this first of all this is your collector this is your emitter and this is your base now you are applying input to the base you are taking output from the collector so it is common emitter configuration this is how we can identify the type of transistor and the type of configuration now the question tells us to find the circuit shown in the figure. We here they have given as 120 volts, so that implies that we need to consider RO in the circuit. Determine the small signal hybrid pi parameters. We need to find the values of R pi, GM, and RO. And finally, the voltage gain VO by VS for the PNP type of configuration. To start with, what is our first step? We draw the circuit under DC operating conditions. That is, we remove the AC sources. So this AC source will be removed from the circuit then there is no more capacitor to open circuit so how the circuit will look like the circuit will look like this the ac source which was in here is been removed so in order to find ibq what we do we apply kvl to the emitter base loop so what will be the equation current flowing over through rb is nothing but ib so i can write ibq total voltage this is negative this is positive so we are living with positive sign so vbb will be positive with respect to vb we are living with negative sign so it will be minus of vb the whole divided by the resistance is only rb so we'll write it as rb the value of resistance is given value of voltage source is given vbb is given as 1.145 vb if not given we can take it as 0.7 vb is given in the question as 0.7 then divided by rb rb is given as 50 kilo ohms so this will give you ibq as 8.9 micro -ohm. once you know the value of ibq you can find icq which is nothing but beta times ibq what is the value of beta given 90 so 90 multiplied by 8.9 9 micro amperes that will be your icq which is 0 0.801 milliampere once you know icq you can find the parameters r pi is nothing but beta vt upon icq beta is 90 vt we always take as constant 26 millivolts whole divided by icq 0 0.801 milliampere so this will give you R pi as 2.921 kilo ohms. So once you know R pi, you can find GM. Equation for GM is ICQ divided by VT. ICQ you know, VT you know, we can find GM as 30.807 milliampere per volt. And finally, RO. RO is VA divided by ICQ. You know VA given in the question. VA is given how much? 120 divided by icq we have found 0 0.801 milliampere so this will give you 149.812 kilo ohms so we have found the ac parameters which was asked in the question next point is to find the voltage gain for that we need to draw the circuit under ac operating condition 